All right. Hello everyone. Welcome to another quick video. And today I am going to be attempting to demonstrate to you guys the diagnostic self-test on this Amana. It's pretty much the same procedure and process for every VMW of this design, whether it be Amana, Whirlpool, Crosley, Kenmore, Conservator, either way. But today's video is specifically on a 2017 Amana NTW 4516 FW1. So, to start with, you want to make sure everything is out of your wash basket. Whether it just be one uh, carrot flavored towel or a sock or, you know, whatever. You don't want anything in there during this test because it could cause small issues. So, to get into the diagnostic test, we are going to first enter service mode. I'm going to come around the other side. I like to go one full rotation left, but all you need to do is one click left. Then, in the span of about six seconds, I believe, it is right, 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 left, right. If you do it right. There. And that enters diagnostic, or er, service mode. Then, to get into self-test, one click right is a fault code and then a second click which is final spin led lit up is your diagnostic self-test so let's go on and i'm gonna hit the start button and demonstrate this self-test for you guys this is if you think your washer is having problems or it's throwing fault codes this will throw it through its self-test to identify any faults so the lid strike in place let's go and hit start
And there you go. That is the full diagnostic self-test. And with all four LEDs, or five LEDs lit back up, see we're back into service mode and we're back to the beginning of the start sequence, indicating it has found no fault no fault with the systems it tests. Now it tests in order, I believe, cold fill valve, then hot fill valve, then a pause, then it does the cold valve again, then the hot valve again, then both together for warm, and then I believe in order after that it's, uh, it fills for warm for a little bit, and then it does another pause, and then it tests agitation, then it tests the shifter and actuating back and forth. No, sorry, it does drain. So it tests the pump system, then it tests the shift actuator by shifting, and then it tests the motor at spin, and then it goes to a stop, unlocks the lid, and you're good to start again. And clearly we see no fault codes are present. So to exit diagnostic test mode, you're going to hold the start button down or press it again in this case. Sometimes you may have to press it and hold for three seconds or press it again to completely exit out of it and you are free to go about your day. So I hope this helps somebody looking to figure out this mode or is just for you curious as to what it does. So hope you guys all have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.